Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing line graph data interpretation. Here, first of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information after understanding the information. See here, first of all, the information is about uh, profit in lakhs. Here, the information is about profit of uh, uh, three companies. Profit made by three companies uh, over the years. Here the information is very clear. Whatever the information which is provided in this particular line graph, all the values are profit values. Here these are not percentages. It is very clear that all the values are profit values, exact numbers which are in terms of lakh rupees. In terms of lakh rupees. So, whatever the value which is provided suppose uh, this is 8 8 is nothing but 8 lakhs 8 lakhs profit 8 lakhs profit by how many companies we are talking about three companies here the companies are company a company b company c over the years here the years 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 and 2006 total 6 years we are talking about uh, and uh, six years profit values for three different companies a b c that is the given information and also one formula is provided which is profit is equal to income minus expenditure profit is equal to income minus expenditure that is the given information in this line graph see here if you observe carefully the taking the values is uh, somewhat difficult uh, while solving these kind of problems whenever the information is given like this why because here the values are not given directly right we need to take each and every value as a separate value see this is 7 this is 8 this is 6 while we are taking these kind of numbers you need to be very much cautious about the company as well here this particular triangle is belonging to which company here this particular triangle is belonging to company C and uh, square is belonging to company B the second one square is belonging to company B and the rhombus is belonging to company A this is rhombus right so uh, taking up the numbers and also their companies respect to companies and uh, respect to years that is very much important and whenever the problems belonging to profit income and expenditure always we will consider expenditure is 100 percentage expenditure is 100 percentage if expenditure is 100 percentage then based on that profit suppose for example profit is some 30 percentage then income percentage will be 130 percentage why because from here itself we can say that income is equal to profit plus expenditure and similarly expenditure is equal to income minus profit it means uh, out of these three variables if you know any two variables it is very easy to get the third variable right now based on this all information and uh, uh, related to this particular formula we need to solve the questions accordingly now look at the first question here is the first question if the income of company a in the year 2005 company a income in the year 2005 in the year 2005 which is 1354300 uh, what was its expenditure this particular income value is 1354300 now what we need to calculate is expenditure here expenditure is nothing but income minus profit expenditure is equal to what income minus profit income value is given and uh, now you can check it out what is the profit value what is the profit value of company a in the year 2005 once look at 2005 this is 2005 after that company a that is belonging to no rhombus shape uh, rhombus shape and square shape both are at same line this is uh, 6 lakhs line here this line is uh, 6 lakhs line right therefore it is uh, 6 lakhs profit value 6 lakhs and uh, now we need to calculate company a expenditure 
in that year that is 2005 which is equal to here uh, expenditure is nothing but just now I said that expenditure is equal to income minus exp uh, profit income minus profit you just subtract the profit value from this total uh, uh, income value so two zeros common three minus zero three and next uh, four and next five uh, up to here common 13 minus 6 uh, 13 minus 6 which is uh, 7 so our required answer is uh, 7 lakhs 54,300 that is the required expenditure of company A in the year 2005 7 lakhs 54,300 that is uh, option D Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Let us look at the next question. Second one. See here. Second question. What is the approximate average profit? What is the approximate average profit made by company A in all the years together? Made by company A in all the years together. So, as we all know that average is equal to average is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations number of observations that is called as uh, average here in this case sum of observations is nothing but uh, sum of uh, all the profits sum of profits sum of profits of company a here we are talking about company a that is the reason why you need to take uh, company a profits divided by and number of observations number of observations is nothing but uh, number of years uh, number of years how many years uh, that we are going to take uh, here if you observe carefully number of years are 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, number of years are 6 uh, denominator is very simple now we need to take all the numerator values uh, so as each and every value which is provided in this uh, line graph that is in terms of lakhs so first of all uh, note down all the values over there average is equal to here sum of profits of company a company a is belonging to that uh, rhombus shape so here the first value is 4 and the next value is 3 next value is uh, 5 next value 6 again next value 6 and next value is uh, 4 right now you can take all these values 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 all these values are given in terms of lakhs so you need to multiply with the uh, lakh you need to multiply with lakh divided by number of years which is uh, 6 therefore required average is equal to here th this is uh, 10 and next uh, 10 plus 10 20 20 plus uh, 8 28 28 lakhs 28 lakhs divided by 6 that is your required answer and uh, here as we are calculating exact uh, approximate value he is asking us to calculate the approximate average why because 28 uh, uh, 28 lakhs divided by 6 that is not exactly divisible by Six. So you can just calculate approximately. First, you can calculate with two table. Denominator is two three sir, and next uh, fourteen lakhs. Uh, fourteen lakhs divided by three, which is equal to approximate average. Approximate average. That is uh, here you can cancel with three table three four sir. Three four sir. Uh, uh, three four sir twelve, and then twenty is left over, and next uh, six times. And again, uh, here it is 6 times, 6 times, 6 times, 6 times. Likewise, uh, 4 lakh 66,666. Uh, here, this value is approximately, we can take it as, uh, a, a, according to the options, we need to take the answer. Here, this value approximately, we can take it as uh, 4 lakh, 4 lakh 67,000. 4 lakh 67,000. That is our required answer. 4 lakh 67,000. That is the approximate average of company A in all the years together. In all the years together, that is the approximate average 4 lakh 67,000, which is option C. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. 
let us look at the third question what is the third question mentioned in this question uh, in this line graph uh, here the profit made by company a in the year 2002 was what percent of total profit made by all three companies in that year here we need to calculate the profit percentage of company a profit percentage of company a which is nothing but generally how can we calculate is profit of company a divided by total profit total profit of all companies together a b c total profit of all companies together that will be in the denominator and uh, into 100 percentage symbol that is a common point whenever we are calculating a profit percentage right now i am calculating profit percentage of a company a profit percentage what is the profit value and we are talking about the year 2002 we are talking about the year 2002 in 2002 company a company a is rhombus shape which is a uh, 3 right as each and every value is given in terms of lakhs so no need of writing a uh, 3 lakhs uh, directly you can write down 3 3 in the numerator and uh, in that year the remaining values are this is 8 and uh, this uh, company b is uh, 5 right now the total profit of uh, company a b c in that year itself that is uh, 3 plus 5 plus 8 3 plus 5 plus 8 into 100 percentage symbol that is a common point now which is equal to 300 divided by 3 into 100 300 divided by here it is uh, uh, 13 plus uh, 6 uh, 13 plus 3 16 and now you can cancel with uh, four table four four sir and next after that you can cancel with uh, four table that is uh, four seven sir and next uh, four seven sir and next uh, five sir four five sir seventy five by four seventy five by four percentage which is equal to here it is uh, this is one time and next thirty five thirty five means eight times sir uh, and next thirty thirty means point uh, seven and then twenty eighteen point seven five percentage here the profit of company A. the profit percentage of percentage of profit percentage profit of company a in the year 2002 in the year 2002 that is uh, you know 18.75 percentage which is option b option b is the right answer for this question option b let us look at the fourth question here the fourth question is what is the percentage increase in profit of company c here we need to calculate percentage increment percentage increment of a company c we are talking about company c in the year 2002 as comparing with the previous year which is 2001 so first uh, you can write down what is company c profit 2002 2002 and 2001 here we are talking about company c that is triangle shape Here, 2002 value which is 8, uh, 2001 value which is 7. So this is uh, 8 lakhs, uh, and uh, this one is uh, 7 lakhs. This one is 2001 is 7 lakhs. Now the question what he is asking is uh, percentage increase, uh, percentage increment in profit, percentage increment in profit that is equal to. Basically, how can we calculate percentage increment? difference between those two values divided by less value or previous year value into 100 percentage into 100 percentage this is the way how we are going to calculate a percentage increment value therefore our required percentage increment is equal to difference between those two which is 1 lakh divided by previous year value that is 1 by 7 into 100 percentage that is equal to here you can cancel 100 by 7 means which is uh, 14.1498 uh, 2 by 7 2 by 7 is nothing but uh, 20 that is uh, around uh, 14.2 right so as we want the value 
rounded off to the nearest integer rounded off to the nearest integer which is nothing but approximately it is 14 percentage we don't want to take 15 percentage why because this particular value is around 14.2 or 14.3 like that so the nearest integer value nearest integer is 14 only so according to the options that also will be having 14 percentage in case in place of 14 if you are having 15 then you can take it as 15 right so our nearest answer is 14 percentage that is our required answer for this question percentage increment is 14 percentage approximately option b is the right answer last question that is uh, fifth one fifth question what is given in this uh, if the expenditure of company b expenditure of company b in the year 2006 that is that was uh, uh, which is uh, 22 lakhs 11430 what was its income in that year see company b company b expenditure in 2006 which is given as 22 lakhs 11430 and uh, company b profit value company b profit value 2006 which is equal to one check it out what is the profit given for company b company b is a square shape which is this line and it is uh, 6 lakhs this is 6 lakhs now you can add these two in order to get uh, uh income in order to get income income is equal to what income is equal to expenditure plus profit that will gives you the income value company b income 2006 which is equal to here uh 0 3 4 1 1 22 plus 6 that is 28 28 lakhs 11430 28 lakhs 11430 that is uh, option d option d is the right answer for this question in this way you need to solve the questions related to profit values uh, when uh, uh, you need to check it out clearly whether the given values are uh, profit percentage values or else exact values uh, exact profit values uh, if it is exact profit values uh, see you can easily identify that these are uh, in terms of given in terms of lakhs so it is very easy to get the answer instead of a uh, uh, profit percentages but whenever the values are given in terms of profit percentage it is uh, somewhat difficult to calculate their values expenditures incomes uh, everything will depends upon their profit percentages income percentage expenditure percentage we need to consider expenditure as 100 percentage like that we need to solve the questions but here all the values are given in terms of profits so uh, getting the answers are very easy guys i hope you understand all the problems in this in this session and uh, thank you thanks for watching